In this video, I'm going to look at the test for the sulfate ion. So that's the SO4 2 minus ion. So you can see at the left here, I've got a bottle of sodium sulfate solution and contained within this bottle is that sulfate ion. So all I've done is put some of the sodium sulfate solution into the test tube that's in the test tube rack there. And I'm going to add to that a source of barium ions. So for this test, I'm going to use barium chloride solution. So we'll just put a few drops of barium chloride solution into the sulfate ions and we'll see what happens. So hopefully you can see what's happened there. Just lift the test tube up and show you. We've got a white precipitate. There's the ion equation for the reaction that's taking place. So we've got the aqueous sulfate ions from the sodium sulfate solution have combined with the aqueous barium ions from the barium chloride solution and they've combined to make the insoluble that's why it comes out as a precipitate barium sulfate. So just be careful with the state symbols. Very important in this type of reaction. So we've got aqueous, aqueous going to solid. Just to finish, I'm just going to mention another reagent you could use to provide you with those Ba2 plus aqueous ions. And that's in the form of barium nitrate solution. So this reagent would give exactly the same result. 